Welcome back to the Krusty Krab, where we try to go over every single Material UI component. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Avatar component. Now, the Avatar component is one that has been there for quite a bit, but got some cool little upgrades in V5. And I'm going to go over them, as well as how you can use the Avatar in other components. If you remember, we actually used the Avatar in the card component in one of my other videos. But you can use the Avatar all on your own and within a bunch of other different components. And this will be the only video you need to understand it and if you find value in it make sure you subscribe make sure you leave a comment it helps so much with the youtube algorithm and hit that bell icon if you want to learn more about every single material UI component and just things related to programming and react in general so let's jump right into it the material ui avatar component essentially looks like this it's pretty much just an avatar now the most common use case if you're using it for some sort of social media platform or anything where the user might have a profile that you want to display is of course going to be just having an image inside of it so you can see here the way you do that is you just pass in the avatar component you give it a source and have that source lead to an image whether that image is locally stored in your project or whether it's on imager or some other public uh, uh, image hosting site doesn't really make too much of a difference. Also note that you can pass in an alt just like any image tag in HTML just in case the image doesn't load or anything the user will have some sort of text around it showing them what the actual image is and a lot of the times in React you are going to get a <clears throat> ESLint error if you don't have an alt tag on your images so it's good to have that. Now, they also allow you to have um, just letter avatars where you can pass in, for example, the letters and it goes up to two, I believe, and it will show it in there. It sort of has a bit of a Google Plus vibe and that's because a lot of Material UI is based off of Google's design principles in, in essence. Um, and these uh, might look a lot uh, pretty familiar to you, especially with comments on YouTube and stuff like that. But if you wanted to do that, all you have to do is pass in uh, the avatar component and then just pass in the letters the two letters that you actually want within it and they will show up there now you can also pass in the sx prop and if you're not familiar with the sx prop we have a whole video on that but essentially it allows you to style the component and you can see here if you wanted to change the color to something different you can pass in the background color they have a little shorthand for the sx prop called bg color but you could also just make this background color and then just put it at a string, as a string red. This deep orange that they are importing here, don't get too confused, it just comes from the Material UI colors library where they specifically have different colors. So that's sort of a intricacy, but if you wanted to just pass in a regular background color prop like you would for any other HTML component with CSS, you would be able to do that as well, as well as target themed um, colors in here as well. Now in the uh, example down here, it might be a bit confusing because they pass in this string avatar, but don't get too confused. It's just a custom function that they've made to pass in the background stylings as well as just take a name um, and, and split it up into their first the first letter of the first name and the first letter of the last name. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to this uh, example. It's sort of just customly written. The next prop we're going to talk about is the sizes prop. Now the sizes prop, it allows you to pass in pretty much any single size that you would like. So in this case, they are actually just editing the width and height in within the SX prop itself. But if we were to go to the avatar, um, if we were to go to the avatar component uh, API, you can actually see that they have a sizes prop where you could pass in just the sizes attribute for the image element. So that is there as well. Um, you can also set a bunch of other props. For example, you can set the variant, which we are about to cover in just a second. And that variant uh, down here pretty much allows you to choose whether or not you want it the, to be squared or if you want it to be rounded. Um, and I believe they have also a um, another one that is just circular. Um, so circular is going to be a lot more rounded edges than just the rounded uh, edges prop, which is just going to sort of look like a square. But as you can see here with rounded edges, meanwhile, the circle one is the one we've been looking at before. Now, other than images and letterings, you can also pass in icons. And to do that, it's very simple. You just pass in the icon prop uh, as a child into the avatar. And a good note, if you haven't watched our icon video, which I will also link in the description below, is you can pass in props to the icon uh, component itself. And it's just the same props you would normally be able to pass in. So you can also change the color of the icon inside of it as well with the SX prop, the same way you would pass, you would change it for the avatar prop. So you can make, for example, the background of the avatar be black and the actual icon be white if you wanted to do that. So the next things we have are fallbacks. Now fallbacks will go in a specific order. 
First of all, if you pass in a child like a B, that and the image for whatever reason doesn't work, Material UI will detect that the link to that image is not working and just fall back to the child. Next, it will alternately um, fall back to the first letter of the alt text. So you can see here in the second example, they're passing in a broken URL and the alt is Remy Sharp, so the R will be the first thing. And the third thing, if you pass in, none of those things will be a generative avatar icon. So this icon is just like the general Material UI like user profile picture icon. And this isn't something that you specifically had to re-import. This is something they built into the component itself that if you pass in a broken image, it will default onto that. And it's sort of nice if you're using this for something like a profile picture-esque or a user-esque um, uh, uh, use case or an application because if the user doesn't actually have an image URL and you just pass in the avatar component, this will be what the default is. So it's sort of like a good default use case. The next two things we're going to talk about are the grouped and um, the grouped with the max prop and that all comes down from the avatar group component and this avatar group component just pretty much bunches together and styles avatars in a certain way. So if you wanted to, for example, maybe you had a card and the different people that like that card or you know if you're trying if you have products and you want to show reviews or how many people have used this before and show their profile pictures and stuff like that you can wrap all your avatars in this avatar group component and you can do two things you can either pass in a max and that max value will show how many uh, little circly icons you want to show. And what it'll do is on the last icon, so in this case we pass in four, so it'll show the first three people, and then on the fourth one, it'll show plus and a number, depending on whether or not there are more people. And if you were to only pass in four, um, it would actually show that last person's image URL instead of the plus two. So if you pass in the exact amount as the max, it'll have that there. The other thing you can do is pass in the total avatars. So let's say you only actually have four avatars. If you pass in the total of 24, it will keep going up until the point where there's no more avatars and then just add a plus and however many were remaining. So in this case, we pass in 24 as the total but we only have four, so it'll show the first four and then it'll show plus 20 for the remaining one. Now, the last example they have here is with the badge component, and I'm quickly gonna go over the badge component, but if you're not familiar with it, it is just this little, you know, uh, circle-y thing with a number or maybe no number inside of it. Not the icon itself, just the little circle thing as well. And you can put that little circle thing, um, you know, anywhere you want. And I'm also gonna have a video on the badge component. As you can see here, this little cart icon has a badge that has four inside of it. Now, with Material UI's avatar components, you can actually have a badge that, for example, on the bottom right shows like a little online icon, similar to what you might see on Discord or on Skype in the olden days. You can also have a badge that has a person's image inside of it, uh, so sort of like a mini avatar. And here is sort of the examples of both. This style badge, don't worry about it too much, it's pretty much just a regular badge, and all it contains is just stylings to make it sort of blue and have that pulsing animation. Um, as well as a variant that says dot, so it makes it sort of like a circly dot. And then you just put the avatar as a child component to that badge. Sort of counterintuitive, but because the badge can wrap over so many different types of components, you also wrap these components inside of the badge component. And over here for the actual circle one, you can see for the badge content prop, um, they are actually passing in another avatar where they have set the stylings to be sort of small enough to fit inside of there. So that's one of the greatest things about Material UI. You can really fit different components and even though each component is its own standalone thing, they have nice special little interactions where you can nest them inside of each other to make really, really cool applications. And that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure you also go through, we talked about the main props for the avatar um, group API, but you can also see that, you know, it has the um, classic things like the classes component as well as the SX prop um, as well as variants as well and also for the avatar component we covered all of the props but that is pretty much it and if you found value make sure you leave a like a comment subscribe it helps so much with the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys in the next video